Hello everybody, welcome. I'm Joe. This is So You Want Crypto. And uh, today things are a lot different, right? Check it out. We're working on a set. We're going to do this like this kind of format, along with the same going through the content with you online. So it'll be the same things, but in a much better format. You'll get more value out of what we're trying to present to you, hopefully. And, uh, you know, it's time to grow up sometimes. Anyway, be ashamed to hide the best or one of the best beards in Bitcoin, right? It's pretty hard to get that luxurious. All right, everybody. Cheers. So what'd you think? Pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, making some good moves in the right direction. We're going to have a pretty good show for ourselves here. All right, so what's a DAG and what's a blockchain? A blockchain is just sequential blocks in order, chained together. Simply put, right? Uh, the DAG, on the other hand, is a directed acyclic graph. And it's a directed graph structure that uses a topological ordering. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, that's what that... The sequence can only go from the beginning, number one, to the, you know, increase, right? Two, three, four. You can't go three, four, two, one. And it often applies to problems related to data processing, scheduling, finding the best route of navigation, and data compression. One of the differences that lays in the data structure, instead of adding blocks sequentially to the chain, a DAG uses validation is paralyzed or parallelized, which results in higher throughput. Um, there's a couple of different kinds of DAGs out there. We talk about Ubix, we're gonna talk about Ubix and that's why we're here, but who else uses DAG besides Ubix? Uh, IOTA and Obyte. Obyte used to be called Byteball. And IOTA and Obyte, they've been around since about 2017, so quite a while before the last bull market. Um, here we go. So Ubix, UBX, 0 0.0016 of a cent. 55%, that's how much we're up in the last 24 hours. Super glad I got into this project. Ecstatic. Making gains like crazy, right? I mean, we're up almost... 3,000% in the last 30 days. It's crazy. KuCoin, that's where you're going to get it. And Ubix Network is a DAG blockchain hybrid designed to integrate blockchains of various types of consensus into a single P2P network. Users can create their own blockchains of various types, including private ones, using them to service their business processes. Uh, so let's talk about real quick, the circulating supply, the market cap, why these don't show up. So it, they're just measured differently than say Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, you know, there's 21 million or whatever, uh, but yet there's a hundred million Satoshis in each Bitcoin. So if you break that out, that's like 20, what 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis, right? So then you compare that to these high uh, maximum or circulating supplies or whatever, and they're emission based. So it's, they're not measured in the same way, if that makes sense. And if we look on here, we see that Ubix doesn't have a market cap listed. Their market cap is $58 million, roughly right now. And it's on the Ubix uh, page, and we'll show you that here in a second. So here's Ubix, this is their, their homepage. They've cleaned it up quite a bit, it looks really nice. Uh, Lots of links, ecosystem numbers, main resources. We're not going to dig too deep today. Uh, we're kind of doing a DAG and showing you some other options about DAGs, right? So it's just This isn't the only one that's using this kind of technology. Here's your different links or you know stuff for the UBIX exchange, UBIKIRI. Uh, you can get drops. I think it's 0.1% daily drops. Uh, if you use UBIKIRI, I think you got to put like 1 million UBIX on the network. Um, and it shows you how to wrap them, um, unwrap. Here's your numbers, 58 million market cap right there. Circulation amount, what is that, 34.6 billion. So, see, that's what I'm talking You start getting these high circulation amounts. It's just, a, it's measured differently. Um, so take that as you will, I guess. So here's Ubix. The exchange, this is uh, UBX to Ethereum. It's on a two hour you can put it on like a four hour. You know, just so you can see what it looks like. Here's their telegram. Here's a link. They 
talked about five hours ago, DAG technology versus blockchain technology. And this Medium article right here, this is the same picture, uh, July 4th, 2018. So th over, you know, almost three years ago, something like that. So it's not a new topic is where I'm going with that. And recently they posted on their Twitter. It's just everybody's super bullish. There's so much going on right now. It's moon memes and everything else. Uh, it's pretty exciting, actually. It's a lot of fun. There's also a second work group. To boost our development, we are scaling up our team. One strategy we use is creating work groups. We just launched our second work group and we'll follow. And here's the link for that if you want to. And the, I, the only reason I put this in here is it was their la they, they made the announcement while I was making this video. It was right here on Telegram with one comment. Uh, you can here's some of their other announcements. Uh, they're hiring. Here's another DAG versus blockchain, DAG versus blockchain links, crypto voting as a service, Ubix Labs. That here's something about the airdrops right here. Uh, so if you're not in their Telegram and it's Ubix dollar sign UBX announcements, that's where you're going to get the announcements from Ubix. And this is Telegram, right? Uh, the other one is the UBX a digital universe. And that's the fan group, so where everybody's posting. And very bullish in here as well. I mean, this place is going crazy. It's got 11,600 or 768 members now. It's growing pretty quickly. And people are just, it's a great group. Uh, really excited. Everyone's really, really excited in here. So that's fun. All right. Uh, moving on to the next one is IOTA. IOTA is another Daggett hybridish. Uh, distributed ledger of Internet of Things, the first ledger with microtransactions without fees, as well as secure data transfer. It does uh, use a proof of work, but it like keeps fees super, super, super low. IOTA is, if we look at the top Internet of Things coins by market capitalization on CoinGecko, it's right, right just right underneath uh, VeChain. So VeChain has a market cap of six billion. IOTA is 4 billion, and then right behind that is Digibyte with 1.1 billion, and then IOTX or IOTX at a third of a billion. Here's a homepage for IOTA securing data, IOTA, an open, fearless data and value transfer protocol. It's, um, it's pretty interesting what where they want to go, what it is. Uh, here's the IOTA Foundation and some links, but. Uh, Here's some basics. Some, I, I'm not going to deep dive. I'm just showing you the, the different kinds of DAGs. And, man, you could spend all day talking about IOTA. They got so many different things to talk about. IOTA token on March 29th. Liquidity now available on the Binance Smart Chain. That's probably something to point out right here. That's recent. That should help the project. Here, when we go into the IOTA ecosystem, you have the development fund and the ecosystem. These are the projects. So IOT alias create human interaction layer for IOTA. Uh, proof of work hardware, they want to do an accelerator for Raspberry Pi to do uh, proof of work efficiently. The Tangle.org, IOTA, the network is the Tangle. And it's the same picture, you know. This is called the Tangle. The way that their DAG looks is the Tangle. Uh, and here's what they're, you know, mobility and automotive, global trade and supply chains, industrial, Internet of Things, e health. Customs and border management, smart cities, digital identity. These are all things that are going to explode, you know, vaccine tracking, stuff like that. Uh, and IOTA is one of those that's a DAG that's in that same category, right? So, oh, by this is going to be our last DAG. 30, oh, wait, let's, did we talk about the, uh, the numbers? $1.54, right? Uh, and then a $4.2 billion market cap, $93 million in the last 24 hours. And you can look at these on your own. I'm not gonna, we're not really doing the deep dive. We're just pointing out a couple extra DAGs on the side so you can do some research on your own. $38.28, up 4%. This is Obite. Number 663 on coingecko.com. Yeah, 51 grand. That's it over the last 24 hours. However, it's got about $29.5 million market cap. Here's your says there's 772 circulating of 1 million supply. 
and Bitrix, BitZ. It looks like about it, what your options are right now. So, not a very accessible coin project, whatever. Uh, Ledger without a middleman. Obyte is a distributed ledger based on directed acyclic graph DAG, right? Unlike centralized ledgers and blockchains, access to Obyte's ledger is decentralized, disintermediated, and free, as in freedom, equal, and open. So here's, this is basically talking about the evolution of ledgers, and that's what DAGs will become. Uh, and, you know, look at Ethereum fees right now. I found, what, 250 Polka Starter in a wallet. And I was like, you know what, maybe I'll throw this somewhere. Changing it, I think it was $320 fees, $320 in fees if I wanted to swap that to Ethereum. I was like, that's crazy. Uh, at least that's what it showed up on my conversion. I didn't do it, I just left it. Here's your team for Obite. Here's your platform. So here you go, autonomous agent, smart contracts, self-sovereign identity, issuing tokens, oracles, payment channels, private untraceable currencies such as black bytes, text coins, prosaic contracts, IOT, and chat and chat bots. They got a lot going on here. Uh, Obite application, this is where you can use Obite already today. This is their product, create and issue stable coins, mobile app, desktop, uh, and you can get into this ICO platform, prediction markets, P2P insurance, secure dom or donations, risk-free conditional payments, trading. And here's the wiki if you want to dig in on your own as well. All these links will be in the description below. And, you know, I highly encourage you to check some stuff out. We can see that they have March 5th was the version 3.0 released mandatory bug fix. I mean, not a lot going on here. Um, but still worth a good check out. So there you go, three DAGs, D-A-G DAGs. Uh, but Ubix is, that's the one we got our eyes on, right? This thing is going nuts. And, you know, I cost average bought a few of these times, you know, over time. So I'm really happy with this one. Uh, and I hope you are too. Comment below. Tell me what you think. I know this one wasn't really that technical and it was kind of scattered, but it's been busy and I, I wanted to come back and make a video and hopefully they won't be all like this anymore. I'm really trying to get a lot of side projects together so we can put this thing on the on the burner and get it going and uh, you know really deliver a good product to you the viewer that's what it's all about delivering value. So if you find value in this remember you know what to do. All right cheers we'll see you on the flip everybody and uh, I'm excited.